our topic is sexual minorities. Sexual minorities are people whose sexual identity, orientation, or practices differ from the majority of the society. For example, a feminine boy or a masculine girl is a sexual minority because their behavior doesn't conform to their gender roles. Gays and lesbians are sexual minorities because their sexual orientation differs from the mainstream, where most people are heterosexual. Likewise, while the majority of people are cisgender, whose biological sex conforms to their gender identity. Transgender people are sexual minorities because their gender identity goes against their biological sex. Sexual minorities are often referred to as LGBTQ people or queers who have long been considered not normal in our society. Sexual minorities have to face a lot of problems, such as social stigma, helplessness, self-doubt, being bullied, harassed, or even evicted. In fact, studies show that 20 to 40 percent of LGBT teens have attempted suicide, while heterosexual teens don't have such a high suicide rate. Another big issue they have to face is coming out. This might sound odd to you, but first, they actually have to come out to themselves. Usually, people see themselves as heterosexual, but when they start to notice their difference, they have to find a way to explain it, and then finally, accepting themselves as being queer. Coming out to other people is even harder. As Ellen DeGerna said, no one will take you to a coming out party and tell you, that's great, you're gay, let's come out. Instead, there might be a lot of conflict between those they love and care. So life is tough growing up as a sexual minority. Ye Yongzhi, a boy who liked playing house when he was little, was often bullied in school because of his feminine personality. Boys in class would ask him to prove he's a man by forcing his pants off. Sadly, it was his death at the age of 15 that started the discussion of how we could help kids like him. However, the media doesn't seem to function properly. The media often characterize sexual minority as problematic or leading tragic types. For example, in this case, the media reported a gay person committing suicide. As you can see, the newspaper played a homosexual suicide with two full pages. While this report on the right, the heterosexual suicide only contains 291 words. Besides the news media, LGBT characters in movies or literature often end up miserable. Characters in Brokeback Mountain and a novel Crystal Boys all ended up in despair, making people associate LGBT community with a miserable life. But the truth is, LGBT people also deserve happiness and happy endings which are rarely told and seen. When it comes to LGBT and media, they are often connected with laws, drugs, and crime. The pure law of people was distorted by negative words the media used. To turn the tide, we must remember, sometimes the media is like a double-edged sword. It can be used to reinforce a stereotype or to break it if used properly. Stereotypes are everywhere in our daily life. Here's an example showing how the media continue to contribute to gender stereotypes. In TV commercials, you must have seen a woman who dresses as housewife endorsing a washing machine. This reinforces the image that females should do housework. And in fact, housework should be shared by all genders. Likewise, some people often connect men with big muscles, but sometimes men can also appear like this, or any kind of appearance they want to be like. Then I'm going to show you another case where the media breaks gender stereotypes. In Qingjie, who is a woman different from traditional gender roles, she is forgetful, straightforward, and her appearance has often been mistaken for a male. But her mother believes that how her daughter looks shouldn't matter to anybody around her, right? And now, her mother advocates gender diversity with Qingjie. Through the media, people can get such a wonderful concept. Gender stereotypes shouldn't exist in the world, and sexual minorities should have the rights to show who they really are without being criticized or even demonized. Hopefully, the media can break, the media can stop gender stereotyping sexual minorities. To break the stereotypes and prejudice, some sexual minorities have come out as who they are, and Miranda will introduce them first. Hello, As our society progresses, People have become more outspoken regarding their gender identity. This brings sex 
strong minorities help to shape our society as more dynamic and diverse. The most influencing example might be the protester, Qi Jiawei, the first gay person coming out in Taiwan. Liu Xinjie, the girl who founded the Equal Law, and also Huang Jie, a member of our parliament. They all gave us speeches to try to change people's opinions and also to amend the laws that don't treat them equally. Celebrities also contribute in this endeavor, such as Apple CEO Tim Cook, the famous hostess Ellen DeGeneres, and also the famous host in Taiwan, Tsai Kang Yong. They all help reshape LGBTQ's image by stepping forward. To name more YouTubers such as Wu Qingjie, Song Mingxuan, and also Elizabeth, they all play an important role in enhancing queer visibility. Among them, Ken once said, I feel free when I say the truth. Overcoming the struggle of internalized homophobia, a type of fright homosexuals may have engraved in their heart. He is now able to be himself and do the things he longs for. We would like to end our presentation using a quote Tim Cook had once said. In his words, it indicates that everyone considered to be proud of who they are and pursue happiness accordingly. Thanks everyone and that's the end of our presentation.